Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Richard Simbi review and this is um, another pills from uh, Carlsberg Brauerei which is uh, started 1878 in uh, Homburg in the state Saarland and uh, this is their main product, it seems like this is their Ur Pils they do have some other beers as well also so Feel free to check out the link to the Rose website, which I'll link to in the description box below as always. There they show uh, their other beers, for example, they have a, a Pils, which is only called Pils, but this is called Ur Pils. And as I've been mentioning before, those two letters before Ur uh, means something that the other things are coming from. Uh, so that's the German term for that, so this is the pills that came before the normal pills, if I uh, should um, try to understand what this uh, this beer, this word Urpils means. And um, yeah, it comes in this a bit smaller bottle, 0.33 liter bottle, which it's uh, available in. I don't think it's available in a big bottle, unfortunately. I prefer the big bottles, as I've been mentioning also before, uh, because they look better and you get enough of beer. Uh, as simple as that. This uh, also is the uh, sponsor of the Kaiserslautern uh, Bundesliga uh, Fußball team in Germany. Uh, so, quite large brewery. And I'll start with some interesting history and information about the brewery. Mainly first information about the brewery. The history part is going to be quite long. But first some um, some information about the brewery. Karlsberg Holding GmbH in Homburg is the lead company of the Karlsberg Group which emerged from the brewery of the same name and in addition to the production of beer and mixed beer beverages in um, is active in areas of beverage distribution as well as transport and even services. The core area of the company is the Karlsberg Brewery founded 1878 by Christian Weber in Homburg from which the present group of companies developed through various acquisitions and spin-offs. The Karlsberg Brauerei GmbH in Homburg employs approximately 328 people as of December 31, 2015. The number of employees of Karlsberg Holding is 500 employees in Homburg and uh, 1,750 in total as of 2012. The holding company employed 1,100 employees in Germany, including employees of the sales subsidiary Vendis in 2009, including around 700 at its headquarters in Homburg. According to other information, the total number of employees, probably including abroad, was 2,200 in 2009. Sales fell in 2008 around 296 million euros after 310 million euros in 2007. Kalsberg beer output in 2008 was 3.5 million hectoliters, of which 450,000 hectoliters fell on the mixer. The turnover of Kalsberg Brauerei GmbH alone was 174 million euros in 2015. And over to some history about this uh, this brewery, which is going to be quite long, as I mentioned, many years, uh, and so on. So we'll be up in parts of years, uh, something that you're going to notice. But I hope you're gonna find it interesting. Uh, unless otherwise stated, the Karlsberg Brewery website was used as a source of the following historical information. 1878 to 1899, the Karlsberg Brewery was founded in 1878 under the name Bayerische Bierbrauerei zum Karlsberg by the local merchant and grocer Christian Weber. At the time, the Saar Palatinate was part of the Palatinate in Bavaria. The the brewery was named after the former Karlsberg Castle complex near today's brewery. The businessman acquired the brewery facilities, wells and real estate from the auction of the bankrupt Jacobi brewery. Due to the strong growth of the brewery, the move to the outskirts of Homburg was necessary in 1884. A new brewery as well as further buildings and conversions enabled higher production volumes. With the construction of an ice machine in 1896, 
year-round cooling of their products was possible. In 1897, the Bavarian brewery for Kalsberg was converted into a stock corporation with a capital stock of 1.1 million marks. Christian Weber held 98% of the shares. An inventory from the previous year shows within just 18 years uh, since its foundation, Christian Weber multiplied the value of the brewery by investing in plants, inventory and real estate. In 1898, the brewery's capacity was already 90,000 hectoliters per year. Uh, 1900 to 1929. With the expansion of capacity, the brewery's sales area grew significantly. In addition to coal mines and industrial regions in Saarland, Karlsbroy also found regular customers in the Palatinate, Lorraine and Luxembourg. The brewery purchased its own railway wagons to handle the transport. The first motorized truck increased the sales radius in 1910. In the same year, Richard Weber, uh, who lived in, uh, from 1897 to 1946, son of the company founder, took over the management of the brewery. At that time, Karlsberg was among the eight, 180 largest German breweries. Despite unfavorable sales conditions, including the Versailles Peace Treaty in uh, 1980, which caused markets in Lorraine, Luxembourg and the Palatinate to collapse, the brewery continued to grow. For the 50th company anniversary in 1928, the uh, Christian Weber Foundation was established to help employees in social emergencies. 1930-1949 after purchasing additional re real estate and making extensive investments in production, including the construction of a new brewing tower in, on Karlsbergstrasse, the brewery achieved steadily growing beer output. In 1937, the corporation was transfor transformed into a limited partnership with a personally liable partner. Richard Weber became the sole managing partner and in 1942, Paul Weber joined the Karlsberg Brewery as authorized officer. The Second World War ended with the loss of uh, many employees and the complete destruction of the brewery. 1950-1960, um, to 1960, Sauland was economically connected to France after the war. The brewery quickly opened up new sales channels to the neighboring country. When exporting, Karlsberg benefited from special political position of Saarland. The variety of brands was expanded. Among other things, through the acquisition of Walsheim brand, name known in France. In addition, in 1953, Karlsberg became the first brewery with a Franco-German catchment area to start brewing, producing uh, beer in beverage cans, which is 0.35 liters. In sales volumes, then rose um, uh, from around 70,000 hectoliters in the previous year to 250,000 hectoliters. After a legal settlement with the Danish Karlsberg brewery, Karlsberg undertook uh, to use the name Karlsbroy for the export business in 1956 to avoid confusion. In the following years, uh, the name Walsheim was repla replaced by Karlsbroy in France and in other exporting countries. Investments in production doubled the brewery's capacity. At the same time, a uh, total production volume of more than 500,000 hectoliters. At um, the second referendum in 1955, the Saarlanders decided to join the Federal Republic of Germany. At the same time, Karlsberg strengthened its sales activities in direct sales. As Saarland's good star, the company developed a supremacy in uh, the domestic market. In 1957, the company brewed Karlsberg Feingold, a finely hopped beer, for the first time. 1961 to 1980. From 1962, Paul Weber ran the brewery as managing partner. With the expansion of the range to include soft drinks such as Sinalco, Cola and uh, Rillischinger mineral water, Karlsberg strengthened its position. In addition to the Sauland and Palatinate, parts of Hesse, Bavaria and North Rhine-Westphalia were supplied with a touring system with several specialist sales branches. In 1968, Karlsberg was one of the first breweries to introduce IT administration. 
1970, Carlsberg launched Carlsberg Ur Pils, a new Pilsner with a tart, fresh note. After further increases in capacity, the production volume rose over 1 million hectoliters per year in 1974. With great public sympathy, the Carlsberg uh, brewery celebrated its 100th birthday in 1978. In 1980, Carlsberg was the first German brewery to introduce profit margin accounting as a control in instrument for sales success. 1983 to 1999, Richard Weber replaced his father in 1983 and became the managing partner. Before that, he held the brewery's export department for many years. Among other things, he was responsible for establishing on sales organ organizations in France and Italy. With the Coca-Cola Connoisseur OKKO uh, Getränke GmbH and the majority stake in Saalfjord Brauerei GmbH in Merzig, Carlsberg consolidated its position in the home market in the early 1980s. The brands Schloss Löwen and Becker in Germany as well as the Brasserie uh, Saverne and the Amos Brewery in France also joined the growing Carlsberg group of companies. In the meantime, Carlsberg grew to be become the fifth largest export brewery in Germany. With the uh, Grindel's non-alcoholic, the breweries developed a pills beer in early 1990s from which alcohol was gently extracted after the brewing process. The innovation in the beer market contributed to the growth spurt of the brew brewery between the 80s and 90s. In uh, 1992, Carlsberg acquired the Königsbach brewery near Koblenz, a regional brand with more than uh, 300 years of tradition. With the French logistics company Saverne Transports and the machine service provider Plus, the Carlsberg Brewery increased its customer proximity. Carlsberg supported the business idea of former OKKO employees right from the start. The beverage and snack vending business in Germany, France and the Benelux countries was expanded in just a few years. Um, and the... Uh, 2000 and up-to-date history. In 2002, the brewery's beer output was around 4 million hectoliters. The following year, 3.7 million hectoliters of Carlsberg was uh, brewed in Germany alone. In 2003, the traditional company celebrated its 125th anniversary. In 2003, Brauholding International, a uh, joint venture between the Dutch brewing group Heineken and German Schurghuber Group took over 55% stake in um, Carlsberg International brand GmbH, a subsidiary of the Carlsberg brewery KG Weber. On June 25, 2009, it was agreed that Carlsberg Holding should take over the 55% uh, share of the BIHA again. A partnership remained in place for sales of the Pschorbräu and Heineken brands. Since then, Carlsberg has been completely family-owned again. In August 2010, Christian Weber, the son of Richard Weber, took over the management of Carlsberg Brauerei GmbH as general representative. In January 2013, the company ranked 399 in the ranking of the 500 largest family businesses in the magazine Wirtschaftsblatt. Carlsberg has been selling the beers uh, of the Bischof Private Brewery in uh, Wienweiler since 2014. At the beginning of 2020, Carlsberg announced that it will that it wanted to sell the Gesundbrunnen Bad Rillschingen GmbH as well as the activities in France. That's quite long history about this brewery. And over to the tasting part or over to some information about this specific beer, the Carlsberg Urpils, which has this, in my opinion, very nice looking color combination, traditional looking label. Uh, dark green, uh, dark gold, and the text in, uh, in white looks very nice. About this specific one, it's possible to read the following on their website. Uh, this uh, special, our magnum hops ensure the balance of strong tartness and pleasant freshness. The soft brewing water in Hamburg is particularly well suited for the Pilsen brewed beers. And uh, also you see the hops right here on the cap. Um, Carlsberg Brauerei 1878 Carlsberg Herb Frisches Urpils sounds very nice. Herb Frisches, that's the taste I want from a German pils, the fresh, fresh natural herbs taste, creating this hops bitterness.
taste that's so significant and that's absolutely what I want. So high expectations of this one. Homburg Saarpfalz. And uh, yeah, here's the back label also. It's got 4.8 ABV, Zutatenwasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen, Extract. Um, Karlsberg Urpils. Ein gutes Maß, ein charakteristischer Magnumhopfen, das weiche Brauer so und die Begeisterung unserer Brauen machen unser Urpilz zu dem, was es ist. Einem international ausgezeichneten Pilz aus Homburg. Karlsberg Brauerei, Karlsberg Straße, Homburg, Germany. Karlsberg uh, DE is the link to the brewer's website right here. I'll link to it in the description box below as I mentioned. But finally, enough of talking and finally over to the reward I'm getting for all this talking. The thing that I've been looking forward to, uh, of course, the tasting part of this great beer. Uh, the Karlsberg Urpils from Saarland. Uh, so let's open this one up. And pour it up. There we have it. Looks really nice to me with typical pills. Look with its white foam head and the very, very clear, easy to see through, pale yellow color of it. Uh, looks really nice. Always important to build up a foam head, uh, especially in a pills. Um, that's what you see in all, in all the pictures that the uh, brewery has been uh, has been putting up the um, the big foam head. Let's get the aroma. Really, really fresh in the. Um, Herb hops taste very well balanced and high quality. That's something I can feel easily. Really, really nice. I bet this one is going to be really, really, really great. So let's try it. Prost, the Karlsberg Urpils. Fantastic. Really nice. Um, just the way I expected and uh, just the way I, I um, hoped for. A very, very, very easy to feel um, strong, um, fresh herbs and hops um, taste. Uh, this significantly hops bitterness, which is so awesome and um, so common for the German Pilsners. It always is. Um, this hops bitterness that is so strong uh, and so nice on the German pilsners, especially the German ones. The um, there are no others that that are having this fantastically great hops uh, bitterness, and that's really really something great. That's what I want from pils. So that's why I'm choosing the German ones. High quality of the raw materials is also there, of course, and. Um, yeah, traditional brewing method, so everything is just really great about this one. The Urpils from Karlsberg, really, really nice. Very fresh herbs taste also. So, uh, it's a big recommendation, of course. That's the Karlsberg Urpils, uh, which, which is very, very, very nice. Have a fantastic freshness. Um, so, uh, and I really, really love Pils. It's abso absolutely a great beer style, in my opinion. And of course, it has to be German Pils. Um, it doesn't work with um, Pils from any other country, in my opinion. Um, I've been reviewing uh, uh, Czech pills also on the channel, but um, German pills are the best, and of course all other German beer styles as well. But pills is really, really uh, a favorite uh, to me 
because of this significantly strong hops bitterness that these uh, German Pilsners are having and the fresh herbs taste that is really really great. Um, it's really something else than the Helles for example which is more mild but this is the way I want the pills. Really really fresh. So this one is a big recommendation actually. Stands out among Pilsners this one. Since it's um, as you can see Herb Frisches. That's what I want. Herb Frisches. Have this natural herbs. Strong taste. Typical pills taste which is really really nice. Not something that you're gonna notice if you if you decide to try it and um, yeah, it's just uh, a stunning beer in every way great pills uh, and yeah I think that's it for now hope you continue to follow my channel for more interesting beer reviews that you um, find the beers interesting that I'm reviewing and that you want to uh, try them as well and uh, that you look forward to my upcoming reviews just as much as I do and um, with that said hope I see you again in the next German beer review